Hey guys, gonna show you how to make a lead rope today. This was requested. Um, okay, so uh, this one is a chain lead rope, but I'll explain how to do it without chain as well. So I've got my six centimeter of chain. It's three millimeter by two millimeter. Those are your measurements. If you want to buy any, I get mine from eBay. I've got my ten millimeter lobster clasp. I just want one, and then I have two six millimeter jump rings. You only need two if you're doing chain. If you're not doing chain, you just need one. So, first thing you need, uh, get your pliers, your long nose jewelry pliers, and you need some scissors as well. I'm just going to open up that jump ring, and then thread that into the little hole on the lobster clasp. Now, if you don't want to have chain on it, all you'll do now is close the jump ring with your pliers, then you would add your ribbon, you would thread your ribbon on, and that would be it. But because I want chain, I'm going to thread my chain on and pray that it fits. Which it might not. Doesn't look like it's going to. These are, um, these jump rings are ones that I uh, bought by accident. Well, no, I bought them, but they're, they're too thick. Um, right, so I'll switch that for a normal one. Bear with me a second. You can use smaller jump rings as well. I just tend to stick with six millimeter because it's just easier. Come on. Oh, it's too hot. Right, uh, that's that threaded on. I'm just going to close the jump ring now. And I'll have this. Now on the other end of the chain I'm going to add another jump ring. And close it. Oh dear, I don't want to close you. Right, there we go. Um, and then take your ribbon and thread that onto it. Uh, now try and do it so that the clasp, it's the same way. So face the clasp away from you so the, the hooky thing is facing towards you. Then pull the chain straight, which is kind of hard to do because it doesn't really sit straight. Um, and then thread it, thread the ribbon through facing away from you. And glue that. Now what I usually do is I add um, a handle at the end. So I'll just show you how to do that. I'm just trimming off the excess glue at the moment. I usually use 5 centimeters of this. However, if I'm just doing a normal lead rope without chain, I would do about 6 centimeters. i I've cut that too short, but oh well. Um, right. Then just loop it over on it back on itself and you just want a little loop. Don't worry too much about the size of it. And there you go. Trim off the excess glue again. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna clip that on to ooh. Easier said than done. There we go. So yeah, that is your lead rope. Uh, I would personally actually make this a bit longer. I cut it too short, but don't worry about it. Um, yeah, a little tip when you're displaying them, loop them over like that. Always looks better. So yeah, thank you for watching. Post yours as a video response below if you want. And if you've got any questions or comments or whatever, just ask below or message me. Thanks for watching. Bye.